At least one survivor from the Tampa Bay area has joined more than two dozen others suing Orlando police after the Pulse nightclub shooting. News Channel 8's Corey Davis joining us now live in our Tampa News Center with more on this. A lawsuit, Corey. Hey, Keith, good evening. Yeah, several, a uh, couple dozen people actually part of that lawsuit. And next Tuesday actually marks two years since a shooter killed 49 and injured 53 others. The victims who are suing believe police didn't act fast enough. I believe victims of post shootings deserve better. Survivor Keenan Carter was shot a number of times at the Pulse nightclub almost exactly two years ago. We deserve to be rescued sooner by law, for, law enforcement officers who made strategic decisions to wait. He's one of more than 35 suing Orlando police and the city, claiming they were too slow and lacked training. Roberto Capo says the off-duty officer working the front door wasn't at his post when the shooter went inside and opened fire. What if Paul's security guard stopped the shooter from ever coming inside of Paul's? Will my brother still be alive? He also believes the officers who showed up next didn't go into the club fast enough. They eventually pulled back, leaving the shooter in there for nearly three hours. What if the Orlando police officers who responded to the shooting were aggressive with their plan to rescue victims and hostages and kill the shooter? Will my brother still be alive? An Orlando City spokesman said they didn't know about the suit, but commented in part, on the morning of June 12, 2016, federal, state, and local law enforcement officers and first responders put themselves in harm's way to save as many lives as possible. And survivors who ran for their lives out there also claim that their civil rights were violated while being questioned. Phones, cars, all taken away, some of them claiming they weren't allowed to use the restroom or even call home. Live in the Tampa News Center, Corey Davis, News Channel 8.